In this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up your camera in Blender 3D to capture static shots. Now, by default, you should have a camera when you open up a new file, but let's say you've gone ahead and deleted it by accident. You can add one to the scene by simply holding down Shift A on the keyboard, and that's going to allow you to add a camera to the scene. So I'll just go ahead and select camera here, and that's gone ahead and added a new camera to our scene. Now the reason you can't see it is because it's hiding behind this cube and we'll get back to this camera in a moment. Let's just shift our focus to the camera that I have right here. Now we're going to want to look through our camera and in order to do so, we're going to want to hold the tilde key down. So the tilde key is basically the one below the escape key. When we hit that, it's going to give us this pie menu. Now this might look a little different to you. You might just have a regular old menu box uh, the reason it appears as a pie menu is because I just got pie menus turned on for me. So I'll just select view camera. Doesn't matter how your menu box looks. Just go ahead and say view camera. And that's going to shift the perspective uh, to the camera. So now if I try and rotate the camera or do anything like that, it's just going to pop out and go back to our perspective mode. And what we're going to want to do is lock onto our subject. So in order to lock onto the subject, and in this case, the subject is just this cube, I'm gonna go ahead, hit the tilde key, go back to view camera, and then hit the end key. That's going to open up this end panel. I'll come down to view and check camera to view. And now if I rotate, it's on that cube. So if I zoom out, pan, tumble or viewport, whatever I do, it's going to stay on the subject. Now let's just go out of this and you'll notice that the camera has now slightly shifted away according to how we manipulated the camera just now. So now let's just take a look at the second camera that we have here. Now, if I hit the tilde key, it's only going to come back to this camera. Even if I select the camera that's here and hit view camera, it's not going to look through that specific camera. And for this, in order to set up multiple cameras, what we need to do is just select local camera here. And I'm going to select camera point 001. And that's going to shift our focus to this camera that we have here. Now I'll just shift this and perhaps we'll look through the camera like so, set it up like this. And now if we just hop out of that, you'll notice that we've gone ahead and set up this camera as well. So if you wanna look through either one of these cameras, you can just come here, select that particular camera, and then that becomes the one that's selected and we can then view through that camera. And so that's how you set up multiple cameras. Uh, another thing I wanna talk about is in our data, object data properties. Let's just click on this camera icon here. And this allows us to shift our perspective, maybe you can change it to orthographic and that's gonna make it look something like this if we look through our camera. Let's just go ahead and select the correct camera there. And so this is how it's gonna appear through the camera, but let's just shift back to perspective for a moment here. Now we can also manipulate things like the focal length. Typically you'll wanna stay around you know, 50, 60 for a normal shot if you're trying to go for something wide angle, maybe 35, and anything that's like telephoto, maybe about 90. And so usually 50 is a pretty good number. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep it at 50 mm. Now you can also set up your guides, camera guides. And we can just do that by coming over to our viewport display, selecting composition guides, and then we can check rule of thirds. That's gonna go ahead and create the rule of third uh, guide there. And you, you're free to explore and just check all this stuff out. There are plenty of guides that are available here. So that's just the basics of setting up your camera to capture a static shot in Blender 3D. Hope that helped.